He says, get in my guard, bro. So I get in his guard. Look at that. Okay. Just talk, just talk some concepts a second, guys. I know if I get in Phil's guard, I'm gonna, just from watching him, I have a roll, I'm gonna have to mind my P's and Q's. I get extended, it's Triangle Choke City, I can just see the way he rolls. He's gonna work it, work it, work it, isolate my shoulder. Like, I can't give away. Zoltan Tarov said, these are your hot daughters, this is the dad of the family, keep your family close. Don't extend to me. So just basic stuff, guys. Inside position. Put your hand on the mat, that's like rubber guard and, you know, chambray leg hook guard. I like leg hook guard. Don't get, let him get over hooks on my arm. Over hook Don't let that happen. Out, boom, elbow, because that works. Okay, so now, here, to basically stop all the black bolts from submitting me, I just, I just focus on keeping my elbows in his hips, like a steering wheel. If he starts to hip out, my, I'm not gonna let him get the angle of attack. And as long as I keep elbow pressure down here, I'm not gonna get submitted. When I start letting him climb and get angles, this is when bad things happen. I have to, and if he's good and he's playing with his feet and he's starting to get off, I gotta reposition him. I gotta cover his hips and reposition him. I gotta steering wheel him, my elbow chips to his hip bone. And now if it's MMA, I can hand my fist, I can roll the elbow over the top, I can come up to get better down and come, make some extension, some posture. So just keeps a little bit of some of these anti jiu jitsu things, you know, in mind. In the like grappling, now I, mean, I can even like really posture even across my ankles, though you gotta watch sweeps to get Fedor style ground and pump. Make my good posture. If I'm looking, he opens up, I just get away if you're an MMA guy that would rather bang. Okay? But just keep, don't give away stuff. Don't let him climb up, you just stay down. Okay, and then I can work on posture. Okay, then I can put my hips forward and get my structure. Just basic, basic stuff. Other basic stuff. Oh, he said it was up. Thank you. Now, I can can opener for the tap if you do it technically. This is uh, muscle asshole in the gym. This kind of is it, though you're still gonna call me. I don't care, I can't even ask. Is that, you got any muscles? Okay, so I'm in here. This is just muscle. This is structure. And sometimes if a guy jumps guard, I will tap you with a can opener on the way down from you breaking your own neck. Because you jump guard and you're already in a hole with your spine, your structure is hole. Your spine is hole. So you guys be mindful of that if you jump guard. And I will literally, he jumps in, I'll grab this on the way down and I'm in here in the pocket. When I mean technical, I mean I'm in the pocket. And I can, yes, I can ground, especially against the cage. I can ground pound, yeah, I gotta watch it. But I can ground pound good for me. He starts to go, I back it up a little bit, boom, I land like that. He just went from blue belt to white belt. Okay? Carlson Gracie. Okay? Um, so, for my MMA guys in here, don't be here and don't do it against the cage. You should be good enough that he can't pivot to an arm bar and open. Against the cage, if it's a really skilled guy that can invert and very flexible, don't let him kick off the wall or the cage from the arm. My, my, my MMA guy is catching that. You know, open, you can be good. You should be good enough if you can open it without getting submitted. From blind pump, right here. But don't do it against the cage where you can kick off in one quick motion if the guy's really good. But I'm here, that gives me my rolling elbows over the top. Boom, chicken wing elbows too. And yes, I can submit if I focus here, here, and in here. I like to put my chin over the top. Okay. Very like, but he's not a blue belt. He's a black belt, so I'm not going to tap him with that. That's also okay. I'm riding him. I'm making his life suck. Okay. So in here, huh? Huh? We're doing a long round of jiu-jitsu. I'm tired. I'm blocking his hips. Huh? Oh, taking my breath. Okay, blocking him off. Boom, I reset. See, so got the angle a bit. I recentered my hips to him. Come in. Here. Now watch. Boom, hip it. Jump up. It's got to be fast. I'm showing slow. Jump up and up. Thank you. Whatever pass. You could even double under from there as well. But don't do it as much. Just go to side. But if you really like double undering, 
maybe putting him to his feet and taking his back, like make him turtle with the double under. You can also do that here if you swim in fast so one doesn't get left behind. This is how I pass guard. Since it was a white belt, this is my pass. Because it works. At least without Giza. He's on a little more tricky. Okay, if they got a really good collar grip and they can pull you down as you're coming, but it works. So you don't have to use a can opener on your friends to alienate people, but you can use it a bit to pass. Okay, so I come in here and now I boom and I pass. Or I can be, and be a real jerk, and it's allowed in UFC not to squeeze, to post. Posting is legal in MMA. Post, bing, bing, bing. Mario steady, make my pass. I'm on the guy. He's already going, I'm taking his back. Okay? You're doing the pop up pass. After you do the pop up pass, you're doing this. And the main guy is you're doing this in the last 30 seconds of the round. You never give up position, top position, to go for a submission, almost never, once you get to a certain good level, where not everyone's falling for weight belt stuff. Except the last 30 seconds of the round. You get it? Boom, bonus. Even Surreal is fighting for the heavyweight interim title. He beat up the guy for 14 and a half minutes. And then boom, he ankle locked the guy in the last. GSP used to do it as well. Jump on legs and stuff in the last 30 seconds of the round. So you should know, and, and, or maybe that's, I say it for the 15 seconds, your corner calls 30, boom, 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 last 15, you're blasting. That's how you train your cardio. Okay. Let's open up. Jump. Knee pinch. Two on two, heel hook. Roll to a side, but I gotta keep him, his knees pinched together. Expose my, get my heel exposure. Now, everyone's different how much is your heel hook I use the old school bail to look at the watch. That's not mechanically the best. Looking at my watch over the other shoulder. I like now, Make sure I have control of his hip, his knee, ankle, all three guys. When I attack a joint, I'm not just attacking this. I'm attacking all three that are in relation. If I'm attacking his elbow, I'm controlling his wrist, and I get control over his shoulder until I isolate the limb. Mechanically, I like my heel hook to be this, the steering wheel. I'm pointing the heel to myself, but really, I'm rotating the toes where? Yeah. Up his? Yeah. Bumpolio! So I don't care what position we're in, we're upside down. Where do his toes go? Up his uh, ass. Up his bumpolio. <laughs> That's his center axis, this is Dantian. Okay? So, I jump back, and I got these here. I roll to my side, <laughs> and roll back to get the top of his toes in my armpit. I put my, my wristwatch to it. Got and now I don't go this way. I just slowly <laughs> look. I'm gonna, he's a little worried, but I'll, I'll, I put my butt, I kind of put my butt to like a toe hole. Phil, can I show it here? <laughs> now, the danger of the two on two is occasionally the really lightweight jiu jitsu guys can sit up very fast. So occasionally, I've, I've gotten mounted occasionally and around, in case he can sit up before I can get my feet to his chest. So there is a bit of a risk. Good feet position in his chest, roll to my side, catch the toes here. Now I'm not just lifting and rotating, but I also kind of crunch my butt to try to roll his toes towards his butt. Guys, if I get extended by Phil, he's gonna armbar a triangle. His, probably, his best weapon against me would be a triangle, just from watching the ball. He's gonna start clamping my shoulders, and now he's got an angle attack. 
to defeat a black ball, don't let him get the angle of attack. Stay in here, steering wheel with your elbows into his hip bones. He starts to get off, you gotta cover the hips. Here, elbow, 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 chicken wing, and over the top, chicken wing, and over the top. Okay. From here, up and pass, war, we set, jump, feet together. Control here. So you see what I did? Praying mantis with my hands. We added that. Here, cut the, cut the toes to your armpit. Here. Okay, any questions? Be careful, new knees on the heel. Here, white belt especially. Be careful, very uber, uber slow. Knees. One, two, three, breaths. 